the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. We are going to pray. Let me give you two keys that increases the anointing. Number one, prayer and fasting Luke chapter 4 please 14 and 15 prayer and fasting prayer and fasting in the name of Jesus conquer the appetite for food conquer food is good don't get me wrong food is important but if you allow the spirit of gluttony to eat you up forget about end time power fire for signs and wonders no sir no sir the Bible says in Jesus having prayed and fasted for 40 days. He says, and Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Asaba. And suddenly there went out a fame of him through the entire region round about. Verse 50. And he taught in their synagogues being glorified of all. Prayer and fasting. Not prayer and sleeping or not fasting and sleeping. That you will say I'm fasting and then you will sleep and just wake up quarter to five and just say hallelujah. While you're on your way bathing, you say Lord I give you glory. You didn't fast. In all fairness, fasting is not fasting until you spend quality time praying and you spend quality time studying the word of God. The ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word. Is God blessing you. This is my opinion. It's not a doctrine in scripture. If you are a man of God here, and at least in a week, you don't fast once, I don't consider you serious. I am sorry, forgive me, but it's true. I absolutely don't consider you serious. Not with the forces we have in this our territory. Not with the reality that is on ground. My goodness. We are not faking this thing, oh. There is a, do you know there are anointings that when you carry, there are rules to maintain them. So before the anointing comes, God will ask you, can you bear the burden of maintaining this anointing? There are anointings when you receive, there is a minimum prayer hour that keeps it. If you don't commit yourself to it, you will lose that anointing. Believe me. Prayer and fasting. Zikos kaparakata. Lock yourself. Turn your parlor into an altar. Everybody is sleeping. Honey, are you praying? Is everything all right? Yes. I'm just entering the new level of my life. Zikos kaparuskeda. Zikapatata. Worship is playing in the background. Off all your lights so that you are not distracted. Stroll there in that darkness. Mantas kebarotasia. Rekete bakatosia. While you are praying, demons are watching you. Angels are watching you. The realm of the spirit is bearing witness. You are signing that register. No devil will come and harass you in public. No. You don't just say demons go because you saw it in the Bible. There is a track record. If they don't witness you praying, they will not honor you when you cast them out. Jesus, I know. So there are people they know. It's not only angels that know people. The realm of the spirit know people. You're on your way to your church and there is an entourage of fire going ahead of you. Before you arrive, someone who just came the first time, while he's sitting, suddenly he's shaking. What is happening to me? Pastor is on his way coming. Is this the man you call pastor? He doesn't just call you pastor because he found you in the front row. 
he calls you pastor indeed he knows what he felt while you were preaching he knows what was happening to him all of a sudden his stubborn child that would not sit down in church is there quiet because he's under the influence of an unction he cannot explain it takes more than your sermon to transform people there must be a deposit of spirit power upon your life there is a price burn your candles in the night set your alarm clock conquer slumber conquer gluttony i'm carrying the destiny of generations nothing may happen but you are attracting a dimension of the holy ghost one day you will go to pray as usual suddenly the heavens are open and god will enter a covenant with you and say my son from tonight that everywhere you go across the nations i will back you i will defend you please sit down we are going to pray now how could you have a cold church that way no. it is not because another church has members that you don't have members it's a lie there are enough people in every society every political party whether it's PDP, APC or anyone when they perform rally there are still people there regardless of who so it's not because it has nothing to do with those factors hallelujah when you stand to preach as you are teaching there are activations there are doors opening every member returns back with a testimony do you know what was happening to me while pastor was preaching and he said so it was happening to you too said, ah, ah. while I was happening look at my employment letter just came who is this man and they say come they gather all the 10 15 people and say let's go go and humble yourself there is something about this man members are not stupid people they evaluate your speakings versus their results I'm being honest with you because I believe there is something God is doing in Asaba. I'm going to pray for you shortly that something from heaven will come upon your life and turn every pulpit in this city to an inferno of fire. Hallelujah. I, I went to just honor a particular father of faith just recently before I would come and then I was I was in in the ministry and when I was done one of the leaders in the ministry called me and said apostle you don't know what happened I said what happened and he said um, there is a man who had been sick in this church for a very long time we've prayed and prayed and prayed but the day you came among the ministers you were greeting you just shook him and he left this I'm talking of one of the top leaders he said we can't believe this his medical report the man is waiting for me now in Abuja to come back and see him and said I cannot believe this this is a medical report that I'm not going to mention it to honor him this is something that even you as a man of God if God gives you a miracle for you know that God honored you it does not take long for God to send helpers for you nobody will sow into the life of nothing I entered your city I have been here four days people have blessed me in this city people I do not know those people are supposed to come to you and bless you why are they not giving you money why are they not blessing you it's not just about favor it's about impact everybody is a giver they just don't think you are deserving of their resources the same person who will refuse to bless you the same person who will hear that ah you need this watch your car say man of god and not bless you will now have another man come into the city and carry one tenth of what you were begging for he will multiply it times ten and go and kneel down to another man of god and say let it be an honor to sow into your altar i tell you everybody is a giver there is a level of fire they are looking for to sow into now and please forgive me i hope i'm not insulting forgive me if i'm breaking any protocol I came into your city and I'm sure some of the people who have blessed me and I'm, I'm grateful for that 
I'm sure some of them are your members. I'm grateful that they blessed me, but I will be happier if they did that to you. That someone can come and say, sir, with this thing you did in this family, no, we are billionaires. Money is not a problem, but this problem, this is what money cannot solve. That God used you to do this. We vow that every conference and every convention, we will overwrite it. And I'm not talking of you pleading with them. It's a covenant with God. And God brings you into a financial Sabbath so that you can focus on the things that matter. It's not money that makes ministry. It's an impactful ministry that, that draws the resources that attend to it. You catch fire and be a blessing to people and men will surprise you. You will lay gold as dust, I tell you. You will not even know what to do with it. Prayer and fasting. The second key, finally, to receive an unusual dimension of the anointing is impartation. Deuteronomy chapter 34 and verse 9. Impartation. Impartation is a system that allows for spiritual transference. You transfer spiritual possibilities through a mystery called impartation. The Bible says, And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom why for moses had laid his hands upon him and as a result the children of israel hearkened unto him as and did as the lord commanded moses so they were not just respecting moses for nothing there was an anointing that compelled that loyalty when he transferred it to joshua they treated him the same i taught during the sessions in this church over the weekend that there are different levels of the anointing and there are different dimensions and they do not replace or cover for themselves the healing anointing will not make you rich the healing anointing is administered within the jurisdiction of wellness and wholeness the anointing for favor will not make you healed no it is left for you through spiritual intelligence and discernment to walk with the Holy Ghost and piece together the different dimensions of the anointings that you would require. There are ingredients that if you are making fried rice, you don't use. There are ingredients that when you are making soup, you don't use. They are useful, but not for what you are cooking. It is your assignment to say, Lord, what are you building? What is the name of this thing you are building? Ah, in this that I are building, I need the anointing for favor here. I need the anointing for this. I need the spirit of might because this is a controversial ministry God is giving me. I need stamina in the spirit. And the Holy Ghost supplies this dimension. And his instrument for that transference is men, not oil. Oil does not anoint. It can fry egg, it can fry yam, it can do all of these things, but oil does not anoint. You can drop a bottle in your house, demons will kick it and oppress you. Oil only anoints because an anointed man anointed it. There's nothing wrong with oil, don't get me wrong. God's authorized storehouse for his power on earth is men. So when God wants to extend his hand and his benevolence over people, he uses men. Men. And some of these things, are, they are not necessarily men who have qualified just by themselves. Sometimes it's an election of grace. He appoints men by the Spirit and commits a dimension of his spiritual investment upon them and they become distributors of it every time god sends a word to jacob is because he's looking at israel it is not for jacob it is for israel but there is one key i must teach you that governs receiving the anointing i shared it here i don't have the time to share everything matthew chapter 10 and verse 4 you can buy the tapes for the meeting the weekend meeting and you can listen to it I taught on the anointing and the Lord will help you. Matthew chapter 10. Oh dear. Let's, let's go to Hebrews 7, 7. Would get it better dear. I was looking for, I hope I got that scripture well. The Bible says, and without all contradiction, the less 
the less is not the weaker the less is not the less spiritual the less is not the one who is on the ground the less is the one who is needing that dimension of the anointing are we together now yes so the word less there embarrasses a lot of people because they don't want to show i'm weak i'm, I'm a big man of god no the less there means that there must be a receiver and a giver it says without all contradiction the less is blessed of the better that means at every point please come down here my, my my dear friend look at me you are here spiritually and even though you are making impact no man hold my hands can lift himself it is not within your power no even if you are a midwife the day you will give birth another midwife will have to help you give birth just because you are a midwife does not mean you will lift yourself jesus your jesus was under a closed heaven for 30 years until someone opened his own heavens your jesus as the son of god his heavens were closed for 30 years and he came to a strange prophet who was in town called john and john saw him he said i'm not even worthy to untie your shoes but jesus said leave it is a principle suffer it to be so that scriptures will be fulfilled and he dipped him in water when he brought him out your bible says and the heavens opened that was when his heavens opened and the father spoke if jesus had gone to do ministry just like that he would have been surprised even though he was jesus and the heavens opened and a voice spoke this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased and he commanded asaba hear ye him who has declared that the city should hear you who has declared that the city should hear you hear ye him is an anointing there is a grace that comes on you that will compel every territory to honor the grace of god deposited in you just because you have what to say does not mean men will listen to you there is a hear ye him anointing it's the anointing that will make people inconvenience themselves and come to say the lord is in this place thank you are you ready to pray i understand some of you have traveled from far i understand some of you are great and men and women of god in this place veterans of the gospel haven't served the lord in various capacities listen let me tell you this i have not come here as one who has come to outshine you and make you feel like you are not doing anything serious anybody who does that is not matured the assignment of the apostolic and the prophetic is to guide and quote the city it will never be said that people are just sleeping while sermons are going on and pinging and browsing and doing no 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 it will be said that the fire upon altars are burning reconciliations happening marriages working children coming apostles and prophets rising membership growing both in quality and quantity and if this is what you desire then together as a family of faith where you are seated i like you to pray one prayer maranatha lord we desire you to come visit our land again is someone praying lord visit this land again visit this land again let our children not forget the heritage of the spirit that was deposited upon this land let a time not come oh god when your counsel is forgotten let your word not be scarce in our land a pastor is praying Shila paruta skada barata, maranata o God. Please pray, Lord, purify me. The workings that must happen in my spirit to allow me whole superior dimensions of Your grace. I receive that dealing of the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. He that bears fruit, my Father will prune, so that he will bear more fruit. Train me, O oh God. Cut away the excesses from my life. I repent of lust. I repent of pride. I repent of vain glory. I repent of competition. I repent of jealousy. In the name of Jesus, 
I apply the blood upon my life and my destiny. No more playing gimmicks in church. No more playing gimmicks in ministry. I want to be authentic. I want to be sincere. I cut away from useless ministerial associations, useless relationships that do not have any spiritual bearing that are destroying my focus, planting wrong seeds in my heart. I re-edit my associations. I like you to pray one last prayer. Fresh oil, oh God. The journey for the future will need more than yesterday's oil. Lord, I thank you for the prophetic that you have given me. I thank you for the apostolic that you have given me. I thank you for the healing grace. I thank you for the evangelistic grace. But more, oh God, more, oh God, send fire from heaven upon my destiny. The times that we live in are evil times. They require a manifestation of the power, the grace, the wisdom, the unction of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before I pray for us, apologize. I've taken a few. I, I'm sure it would have finished by now. But you will not regret your coming here this morning. I want us to pray one last prayer. Listen. We must pray and ask God to help us love our congregation. Not just use them. Love them genuinely. Simon Bajona, lovest thou me more than these? Prove it by feeding my sheep. Everyone here, you are going to pray for your members. Lord, I love these people. I thank you for giving them to me. It doesn't matter whether they are blessing you or not. It doesn't matter whether they appreciate what God is using you to do or not. You cannot bless a people you do not love. Please lift your voice in one minute. Lord, I pray. I know that you have been offended as a minister. They have spoken about you. They have spoken against you. They have betrayed you, betrayed your wife. They have betrayed your trust. You have poured your heart to them. You have labored. Some of them have been blessed. They forgot about you. Some of them had opportunities to lift you and support the work. And they left you, you know, and all those kinds of things. But I like you to pray. Lord, I love them all the same. I passionately love them from the depth of my heart. I love them in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be sensitive. We're rounding up. Listen to me. I believe in impartation. I believe that a man can carry something he did not once have. I am a product of many anointings. Many anointings. We may not be many, but I want you to know that our fathers who have gone, many of them have joined the cloud of witnesses today. These were men and women who labored and served the purposes of God. Ordinary people, some of them. And they encountered Elohim in dramatic dimensions. Some of them met certain human vessels and their lives changed. You see, this grace that is upon us is older than us. We are not the first people to carry it. Others carried it and passed this baton to us. Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. This is the song we'll be singing forever. Holy is the Lord. We're not the first to carry the anointing for miracles. It's like a baton. 
others ran with it as best as they knew and now it is our turn in history and if christ tarries one day we will also hand it over so it is not something that is any man's property we are stewards of it and the bible says moreover it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful you are about to receive something that is very ancient very ancient it's not something that is 100 years old no it's not something that is 50 years old no mantles are falling here tonight anointings are falling here tonight Mordecai's are rising here tonight Esther's are rising here tonight ha! for the kings to arise for revival to return for the kings to be born for revival to return yeah Ali Ali yo Ali yo Ali Ali yo oh oh Ali Ali yo Ali yo Ali Ali yo Help that man. Hey, hey, hey. Ali, Ali, oh. Hallelujah. I'm seeing tongues of fire and I'm seeing the number 13. Bring them out. I stretch my hands now. Father, let that fire engulf a man of God. Help them, please. Whether you are an usher or not, a woman of God, I shift you to a new dimension in the spirit. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus, step into new fountains. Drink of ancient waters. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you on fire. I want to pray. There is the ministry of women. That God is betting in this city. There are strange women after the order of Deborah. I want to pray for you. There is the womb of the spirit that is betting women of power. Lord, where are they? I stretch my hands. Deborah's arise. Deborah's arise by the spirit of God. Wailing women, women of power and prayer and prophecy. I call that deep. I open up the fountains of the deep. Ele caparita, já se secata se que te pa, empre te que pa roto soto pa, empre que te sete se le pato siata. Stir up anointing, stir up graces. Ela salata se que ta. Krete peke to sate la kata Mente prende ke to siata Hear me I want to pray for you right now There are some of you even though you are men of God and you love God The truth is that there are altars that are vowed that you will not rise Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18 What seest thou? And he said four horns These are the horns that have lifted up themselves Against Jerusalem, against Judah so that no man does lift up his head he said but i have sent four carpenters i am praying right now that any man here any woman any family that every altar is sitting on your destiny vowing that you will not represent the purposes of god right now i declare by fire let those altars catch fire help this man catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire Catch fire! Harata sila baruta chekete. Hear me. The Bible says the rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest he dips his hand in iniquity.
the lord wants to release the spirit of revelation there is a grace that opens you up to scripture i'm praying right now father i don't know where they are but i pray in the name of jesus upon everyone who has cried and prayed and fasted for a new dimension of the grace for revelation i stretch my hands in the name of jesus at the count of three that that grace will mantle your life one two three take that grace now help them please take that fire now access access the seeing eyes the hearing ears help this man so he doesn't enjoy anyone help them please help them whether you are an usher or not please help them the seeing eyes in the name of jesus the christ of god i release upon you the grace for revelation hallelujah hallelujah my friend this man look at me lift your hands you are stepping into a new dimension take that fire now in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ this guy, you. Are you a pastor? No, I'm talking this guy. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are from? Huh? No. Is there another mic? Just give me two minutes. What am I seeing that is similar between me and you? Is there this? He's from where? Plateau State. You are from my state. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm seeing something connecting me and you. The Lord is going to help you. I stretch my hands step into a new dimension of grace in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the hand of God is coming upon a pastor right now is a grace for the prophetic I don't know where that pastor is I need to prophesy to him in the name of Jesus please help them whether you are an usher or not when anyone is under the anointing I'm seeing the grace for the prophetic I stir it up in the name of Jesus. I stir it up in the name of Jesus. Shila Paruka, authentic prophecy. Authentic prophecy. I shift you to that realm. I shift you to that dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. This lady on blue, come. Your life is about to change. What do you do, my dear? Huh? Do you know that God is raising you to be a powerful woman of God? I don't know anything about you, but I want to pray for you. That in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, you will start having strange dreams, prophetic dreams. And in those dreams, you will see fire is burning you. I'm seeing an angel pouring oil upon you. I shift you to that dimension. In the name of Jesus, take that anointing now. By the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ who is ezekiel ezekiel i'm hearing a name ezekiel i want to pray for you who is ezekiel and then um Ezekiel, when you find someone like that, I'm hearing that name, Ezekiel, I just want to pray for you. We're going to pray and anoint every, every church that not only will fire burn upon the altar, it will remain burning upon that altar. Can I declare speed upon you? Because... The truth is that there are some of you who love God sincerely but there is a lot of delay 
it takes time to do very simple spiritual things it takes forever it says satisfy me early with your mercy there is timing to this thing hallelujah miracles signs wonders miracles signs wonders miracles signs wonders the lord is bringing you to that realm in the name of jesus christ the lord is bringing you to that realm miracles signs wonders not only him i want to pray whatever stops testimonies in your church that while you are praying with all your heart people never return with results right now i stretch my hands the anointing and the grace is called the grace for performance blessed is she that believes it says for unto her there shall be a performance in the name of jesus take that grace now in the name of jesus carry that anointing now that young man lifting your hands at the back wearing suit shout jesus as loud as you can take that grace now you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ i want to pray speed please listen whether you are an usher or not i just have two or three minutes and i'm done on stage here when i pray this prayer i don't know why it happens you may find people running physically not by the anointing not intentionally as god breaks delay whether you are an usher or not don't worry you will still receive if anyone is under the anointing help them so they don't break the chairs and also injure themselves hallelujah and the hand of the lord came upon elijah the bible says and he ran on barefoot and he overtook the chariots of ahab down to jisrael i want to pray and end circles of delay and fruitless labor i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of jesus the son of the living god at the count of three father anyone here who needs speed i declare right now speed one two three take that grace speed 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 in ministry speed in help them help them help them speed in the name of jesus i declare never delayed again never delayed again that in one year you will do much for the kingdom i declare speed over your family let the hand of the lord come upon you you will overtake your contemporaries you will overtake your peers you will overtake your equals in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah john chapter 17 and when you read from verse 1 to 6 jesus was praying and he said all that you have given me hallelujah it says all that you have given me i have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition and that that scripture will be fulfilled there are as many as we are here I know we are different pastors with our different congregations but can i tell you there are people sent to you not even me will be able to bless them because they were sent to you there were many widows in zarephath but to none was elijah sent i want to pray for you and i want you to join me in that prayer lord everyone you have sent and connected to my grace wherever they are in asaba we call them by prophecy they locate your assembly they come they are planted and they flourish lift your voice and pray in one minute lift your voice and pray in one minute lift your voice and pray in one minute hallelujah hallelujah the bible says the lord gave the word bishop he said great was the company of them that published it you are going to pray lord raise people 
raise people that will become pillars in my life and ministry no matter how anointed you are you cannot stand alone you need people who believe in you in the secret and in the open enough to say we will stake our lives the bible says certain men came to david in the cave of adulam and they covenanted with themselves that we will make you king even though they saw him hiding his hiding was not an issue for them they said we will still help you rise and we will allow you to be lord over us i pray for you may the lord take away disloyal people from your life take away disloyal people from your ministry in the name of jesus christ and i pray that god will bring the aarons and the horse that will lift your hands in the name of jesus christ let me pray for finances this demon that wants to destroy the work of the lord many people have great visions finances the devil just shuts those doors to make sure you are crippled the truth is that there are some of you you are disciplined enough if god grants you access to the resources you will cause havoc to darkness and so the devil will make sure that every road is closed but in the name of jesus by the power of prophecy everyone who has been appointed to stand by you financially and to lift up your hands in ministry in the name of jesus who is my god and your god i command enjoy their ministry now enjoy their ministry now enjoy their ministry now can i tell you this anybody who comes into this land to divide the church and the body of christ we close the spiritual gate over this city let me say it again that anybody that steps his feet upon this soil with the assignment to cause division to make pastors fight pastors to make people look forward to the downfall of others i stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace we shut the spiritual borders of asaba against evildoers we declare that the body of christ listen regardless your differences unity is not uniformity you may not believe the same thing but it is not enough reason to look forward to the downfall of another. I pray there will be genuine love in the body of Christ. Regardless of denomination. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that there will be genuine love and honor. Mutual honor. One man of God to another. I pray that the spirit of offense will be far from the church in Asaba. In the name of Jesus. That together as an inferno of fire several denominations you may define doctrines and perspectives but in the name of jesus i pray let there be unity hear me never find yourself fighting another person looking forward to his downfall so that you will enjoy it does not profit you everybody rises based on his revelation galatians 2 2 i went up by revelation you go up by your revelation don't especially because we are mentoring younger ministers let's be careful what we tell these people as they look up to us so that we don't deceive them to come up with camps i am for paul i am for apollos both of them will suffer we must let the people know that there is one lord there is one faith there is one baptism I look forward to a time where a man of God is organizing a program that is not your business and you can pay for buses and just send a letter and say man of God I'm just happy about what God is doing this is my contribution and that that man of God can acknowledge him and say thank God for this my brother there you may not believe the same thing there are many places I preach I don't I have my reservations over what I believe and what I don't believe but it's too small a reason to create seditions you must love the body of christ father we thank you for this conference in the name of jesus christ okay there's need for oil is it all right if i pray on the oil at least let something come upon your head thank you my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and i am anointed with fresh oil hallelujah this is how we we'll do it for the sake of time if we could have a bowl or two so that we don't have people come i'm going to
just pray listen this is ordinary olive oil there's nothing supernatural about this you use this in your kitchen to cook this this does not carry any power at all but it is when it is anointed it loses its earthly significance as ordinary oil and takes on something heavenly hallelujah i'm going to pray on this maybe we'll do it this way if i can have i wish we could have so that we can have one point here and they can just pass it around and then and then one and then one here so that we can finish on time father this is ordinary oil but lord we declare according to scripture you taught us that anointing with oil can be a transmission a transmitter of your power therefore i pray oh god that your power will rest upon this oil i call this an oil of breakthrough let it be an oil of favor let it be an oil for the miraculous let it be an oil for increased influence let it be an oil for restoration let it be an oil for establishment let, let it be an oil for performance that as this oil comes upon your head within the few minutes we have truly i pray that it will not just be an empty impartation that you will go back to your assemblies and you will know something came upon you in the name of jesus christ amen and amen while this is happening you can just be praying in the spirit all through and just take it so that the yes reverend dan is there any other person can help i can pour this is there any other bowl if we can have thank you yes so we can uh, drop it somewhere as it comes on your head just begin to pray my life is changing i'm declaring speak in the name of jesus christ speak in the name of jesus christ speak in the name of jesus christ you can touch your head touch your hand as a symbol of your productivity and begin to declare by the spirit be patient everyone will get it in the name of jesus don't just touch your head go back and pray and you are declaring in the name of jesus i will never be the same i carry this unction signs and wonders my prayer group my job my business my assembly in the name of jesus christ anoint your head anoint your hand prophesy upon your hand it is my symbol of productivity let me have it so that i'll just a minute oil is finished I can still put some more is someone praying I'd like you to begin to see a new ministry signs and wonders overflows by the spirit I like you to see it and declared by the spirit it also applies to your business it also applies to your children that the Egyptians that I saw yesterday I see no more forever I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost a new dimension of prayer a new dimension of signs and of wonders in the name of jesus i declare are you praying regardless of where your church is located we declare fresh fire god is drawing people they are coming by the spirit of god they are coming by the hand of god in the name of jesus call forth your destiny help us call them men of power men of grace help us of the war in the name of jesus christ I declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost that no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. He said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. In the name of Jesus, I become indestructible. Indestructible. The spirit of death has no power over my life. In the name of Jesus, I am planted in the house of God. I flourish in the courts of our God. Even in old age, I am fat and flourishing in the name of jesus christ and the lord of peace shall give me peace always and by all means in the name of jesus christ the bible says declare ye that thou mightest be justified don't keep quiet don't keep quiet we're almost rounding up you are praying for your members father in the name of jesus they are receiving the word they are understanding the word the world is growing and prevailing over their lives in the name of Jesus
Lift up your voice and pray. Because you are anointed, he suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. Decree and declare. We speak to the systems. Open up to my ministry. Open up to my destiny. Open up to the grace of God upon my life. I command visibility. I declare visibility by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visibility in the name of Jesus Christ. Neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel. Pray for your finances. I command supernatural finances. No more lack. Someone is praying by the Spirit of the Living God. No more lack in the name of Jesus. Pray for signs and wonders. From this week, oh God, I command signs and wonders by the Spirit of God. The sick are healed, the blind are healed, the crippled walk. No table dimensions of the grace of God. The Bible says, So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. Declare that the word upon your lips is prevailing, prevailing over situations and circumstances. Are we done? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now I see some of you holding bottles of oil. Lift it up. Let me pray on it. Or any point of contact in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare by the spirit of the living God. That this oil that you carry. That from today I stand in agreement with Bishop and we declare. May it become a conduit of the power of God. In the name of Jesus. That it will become like the rod of Moses. That became the rod of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. There are times that even ministers themselves can need a miracle. I pray for you. That every miracle that you need. To make your calling and your election sure. I pray and I call on my God who is your God. May that miracle be delivered to your hands. Any man of God here owing. You are owing rent. Maybe your venue. You are trusting God for lifting. I agree with you. Between now and the end of December. Let there be a strange miracle for you. Let me pray. Any one of you appointed to death. That the devil wants to kill you so that it will discourage all around in the name of jesus i speak oh earth shut your mouth against these destinies in the name of jesus christ and finally i pray for you whatever will steal your love and your passion for god if it's an association if it's a relationship if it's an open door whatever it is that will make you forget about god in the name of Jesus, may it never come to your life. Whatever will make you to not become a man and a woman of solid character, may my God, who is your God, take it out of your life. In the name of Jesus, the prayer, the fire on your prayer altar will never go down. Bishop, Thank you so much for this opportunity. And Asaba, thank you so much. I honor and I celebrate every man and every woman of God. Thank you for this opportunity to be a blessing. The Lord increase you in Jesus' name. Okay, Bishop has requested that I pray for the church. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can. To help them bless. Check our home page for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye! Pray! Pray! Pray for your destiny!
the face of development lord 